Jury is finally here. And oh, they're already teasing Alakino on Twitter. Oh god. Why do I feel like Gio always gets left behind? Unless Shuri. Do you have what it takes to save Gio? Welcome back, bullies. In this video, we're dumping 6,000 resin into leveling up Jury and maxing her out alongside my neglected puppy, Goro, to see if they, together, can save Gio. So, let's max out their level, talents, artifacts, weapon, and team, and find out if the resin was worth it. Hi, bullies. We're back again, this time with uh, Jory, Ch Chidori, Ch Jory. Where did that extra D come from? Wait. Oh. Today we're gonna be leveling up and maxing out Chiori. Oh, what the hell is this? Wait, it's kind of cute. Anyways, I've taken her back home to the land of Inazuma, but we've recently just pulled her. I didn't have either her or Ito. I am maybe one pull away from Ito. I lost my 50-50. It's, um, it's a bit rough, but you know what? I'm trying to look at it glass half full. It's now Constellation 6. <laughs> He's my first five star. It's not Traveler. That is C6. So let me know if you guys want to see a C6 Mona DPS build. Why her animations so pretty? But she's a support unit. I kind of like it. It's like scissors, you know? Because I don't have Ito yet, we're going to have to level him up in a separate video. And Chiori is a good support for him. So it makes sense to level up Chiori first. If that is the case, then we need a substitute unit to be the Geo DPS. So I think some people are going to use Navia, but I already have a Navia video. We have Noelle, who I don't think works amazing with her. It's just okay. And we have Ningguang. Some people have been asking me to make a video on. So I think it might be a great chance to level up my Ningguang. There is also the big problem of Dog. Uh, Goro, who is still currently level 60. I um, pulled some constellations for him. He is C6 as of this banner, which is kind of crazy. And I know his C6 makes Jiro really, really strong. So I was thinking we might do a Chiori, Ningguang, Goro plus support team. And that means I have to fix three different Geo units all in one video, which uh, sounds like a lot of fun. But first things first, I someone topped up my account when I logged off. I now have one extra pull. So Ito. <laughs> Where is this man? I'm pretty sure I'm like 80 pulls in. He should show up any second. Hello! Game! Oh god. I'm gonna quickly spend my resin so we're no longer capped, do my dailies, and then we're gonna do one more coat pull and hopefully get Ito. <laughs> so you're currently level one. I have no idea what you ascend with. All I know is, from what I've heard, defense good. <laughs> Uh, you might have noticed I've been spam farming a lot of purple books. Uh, that's because we almost ran out last time. So let's get you to level 19. And I'm not sure which region she's from. If we're going to count it as Inazuma or um, Fontaine. But what is her local specialty she needs when she levels up? Oh, okay. Well, you know, I'm just going to count it as Inazuma. And we're going to go fight some Spectres then, I guess. Well, we're back to farming Spectres. The thing that I absolutely despise. How am I meant to even fight you? You're, you're a Above the... Oh, God. Okay, you're, you're kind of flying, so I can't even suck you guys together. Grab the drops. This is super important. Her wings. Oh, I feel like that's such an easy dub. What else would you pick? Oh, these are these are okay. These are fine, but that's such an easy pick. Look at that. Look at that. And I guess while I'm farming these, I can quickly talk about what I've already farmed. So, I think her boss material I've gotten. We got these. I think we might need a little bit more, but should be okay. Her flowers, I actually had just a ton from before. I think I was farming for Sara or something, and just on the route, it just happens to be there. Weapon-wise, we've got a few options. This, I'm not sure about. So I think she's built like a defense damage character. You can give her any of the DPS swords. So either these two are fine. I don't have her signature. I don't plan on pulling for obvious reasons. I'm broke. I'm broke. Also, uh book incident. But there are also other great options. For example, I've heard that Harbinger of Dawn, you know, she's off field, kind of like Albedo. So you can't really go wrong with this as long as you're not using, um, I guess, Farina or someone to bring her below 90. The only thing is if you do go below 90, it's a bit hard for you to heal up too. I also have this weapon, Cinnabar Spindle from ages ago, but Albedo. I think this one's okay. Not sure if I'm going to do this or I have the battle pass weapon, which just gives you, you know, stats once again. So honestly, any of those might be the play. Easiest way is I just yoink someone's weapon, but maybe we'll go with um Cinnabar Spindle for now. Artifacts wise, what's a recommended set? Does it have guide? Statistics are being tabulated. So the answer is no. <laughs> 
it. <laughs> cool. I don't even really know what she does. Okay, this thing looks like it has a doll. Oh, it tells you what you need to level up. Hell yeah. How come the weapon doesn't show me that? Ah, huh? it's not fair. Okay, but I should have this in Azuma books I'm pretty good on. So light and then husk once again. What makes her good? Is she off field damage? Oh God. Switching to your next character grants them a buff. Increases the tomato. Oh, Tamoto. I'm sorry. Oh, it deals AoE geo damage. Okay. And it also, she gains geo infusion. If she's on field and she does not use elemental skill or normal attack, after her E, she gets the buff. Okay. This one. When a nearby party member creates a geo construct, Chiori will gain damage bonus. What is this? When a party member is wearing an outfit apart from their default outfit, what is this pay to win talent? Or is wearing a wind glider other than the wings of first flight, your party members will obtain the Swift stride effect. Movement speed increased by 10%. Wait, so I just get free movement speed? Oh my god, I'm Barry Allen! I guess that's a quick overview of the talents. She's still a level 19 though, and I still need 95 EXP. Let's try out the skill. Oh. Okay, it's a dash. I wonder if there's a hold effect. Doesn't seem like it. What, what do you do? What do you just look cute? Nice. <laughs> Ascend. What do you have to say? No, no good. Still feels too ordinary. It's a floating magical doll. Yeah, pretty ordinary, honestly. Wait, this means I have to farm 320 XP worth of specters. I'm just gonna waste it. I'm sorry, guys. I can't. I can't do that to myself. We need to farm specters, but that's just painful. Akin to torture, even. Not bad, but it's oh. still lacking the wow factor that makes it really stand out. Uh, the wow factor? All right, your doll versus my son. <laughs> 900 more than required. Okay, I can't do that. And she also gets crit rate when leveling up, which is kind of interesting. Oh, you know what? This is something I can test. Normally, Geo units are really good at breaking rocks. How about your E? Oh, the burst? Oh, it's not very good. Oh, no, it's not very good at all. All right, don't get her if you want to mine with her. Though, if you're pulling a character just to mine faster, then I don't know. Something about your priorities just needs to, <laughs> needs to switch up real quick. The resin cap is kind of painful to look at, so let's keep ascending her. Let's go. No dialogue. Let's freaking go. <laughs> also, I have all these standard pulls. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with them. Someone suggested maybe do like an abyss run only with characters that I pull. I thought that was pretty cool. And I did cope use like 15 of these to try to get some dust in order to get Ito earlier. It didn't really work out. So here I am. <laughs> I used every single Prima I could. Oh, except one actually. I haven't done her trial yet. Oh, wait, they used Ningguang in her trial. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do okay so this way you have a thing on the ground oh then ingwang sucks mine's gonna cook away harder um why are there two dolls how many dolls do we have we can only have two and when you use the geo okay i think it's like some geo construct thing it spawned a second one okay good to know good to know you know what i need pearls i need husks let's do the goro trial real quick as well we also gotta level him i almost forgot and we gotta fix my ningguang and this is gonna be an expensive episode one of these one of these one of these oh i miss playing Ningguang, actually. It's actually, I don't know if I've shared this, but she was my first ever DPS unit. Imagine playing early game as Ningguang. <laughs> you do like a hundred per shot and you have the longest cooldowns, the worst build. That was me. It was a real struggle. I'm not going to lie. But eventually I got a C6 and it was kind of fun. I'm not sure why I stopped. I don't want to bring it back. I guess this is the perfect time. All right, that's some more husks for us. Also 20 primos. Let's go. Sure, you are now 50 out of 60. Let's level you up again. And what do we need? We need 125. I can do that. The reason why I need so many is Goro also uses these, so. I think I've got it. Are we done? That was it. She doesn't need any more XP. Okay, level 70. <gasps> I'm out of spectrum. Can I buy some from the shop real quick? Oh, thank God they're still here. Okay, so I might as well max these out, right? That's 90 of these. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that's perfect. You might have noticed I actually used all of my star glitter as well, trying to cope pull Ito, which is dangerous because I still need that one amber constellation when she comes back. But we'll get to that road when we get there, right? Let's go find a crafting table. Okay, first, I think I should convert like most of this, to be honest. I don't think I we need that many. And I'm pretty sure Sucrose is just better. So like, pop off, queen. Wait, that's really bad. <laughs> I meant to get at least 13. Okay, you know what? This is how you, uh, you make it okay. You're gonna absolutely pop off here. I'm ready. <laughs> What did I do to you? Why does everyone hate me? Ito hates me. Sucrose hates me. All right, here we go. <gasps> we need 
two more boss runs. Okay, let's quickly do that. Also, I should mention that I think my Ningguang only needs some artifact changes. I'm pretty sure I left her talents in a good spot. Like I crowned her normal attack. That's how real I got. 10, 8, 9 without constellations. I was a big Ningguang main. Okay, it was a... Uh, Capellius? Capellia. All right, let's see our luck. Either way, I gotta do two rolls, but at least make me feel a little bit better. And this is my friendship team. Let's put... Welcome to Chioya Boutique. Oh, wait, her animation's sick. Wait, all she does is spin around. Never mind, I changed my mind. <laughs> it's kind of mid. <laughs> Still cool, but there's some cooler ones. Like, hypothetically, if you were born as a helicopter... You could do that. Uh, okay. Give me three. We'll be back. At least we're not resin cap now. So while we're waiting for you, we should farm some more of these specters. I need more specters. I mean, talent wise, her normal attack does what? You're just attacking. Okay. Her burst is just damage based on her attack and defense. And her E is the thing we want, right? Dashes forward. She says tomato, tomato. It's a tomato. Anyways, beside her and sweeps her blade upwards, dealing geo damage as an AoE. Holding the skill will cause it to behave differently. Friendly? You can aim? Wait, what happens if I... Can I aim up? Oh! Ka-ching! Kinda? Wait, what, what, what is that face? What? <laughs> I hate it. Why does it look like that? The bombastic side eye. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I like that a lot. Oh, now your eyes are closed. Is it a different face each time or do I did I do something? And also her burst animation. Oh, it's on purpose. She's cutting the silk open. I get it. I get it. It took me a second. I get it. Wait, these faces. There's a different face every single time. <laughs> All right, but if we go back to the talents then, the burst is just one big piece of damage. This will slash based on the damage. When active, if there's a geo construct, you will summon additional one. Okay, so you just have an on-field damage. This one, this pattern. Passive. Gains different effects based on the next actions you take within a short period after using E. If you press the elemental skill, you will trigger the tapestry effect. If you press your normal attack, the tailoring effect will be triggered. Ah, okay. So if I do tapestry, which is you press the skill again, so you, you go E and then you go E again. Switching to the next character in your roster grants all your party members this buff. Your party members then gain normal attack, charged attack, and plunge attack. It grants you a buff. When your party members attack, the little floaty thingy, the tomato, <laughs> will also do a coordinated attack, dealing 100% of the E damage. Oh, it's like a synchronized attack and it's elemental skill damage. This lasts eight seconds and one of the attacks can be unleashed every two seconds. But can I summon a second guy if I have a geo construct, which means I just have two guys going boop, 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 I guess. And then what's the other mode? The tailoring effect. She can be on field geo DP. Oh, I guess so if I use an E and I start attacking, then you start doing geo damage. Okay, so now I have the geo damage buff. Oh, wait, then she can be a geo DPS maybe if her ratios are good enough. Okay, I think the boss is probably respawn. Let's go find it again. And we're done. Another three. That's awesome. Now I have a spare two. I don't know what to spend it on. <laughs> but we can ascend. Never mind. We need big geo stones. We might as well grab these first and head back into town. The only thing I'm a little worried about is for her talents, it seems like E is the only one that really matters. The off-field damage burst you can use occasionally, but mm, takes time to cast and of everything too. Of course, as a master of Minecraft, my mm -hmm. hands will never shake while cutting fabric. But I'll admit, the excitement and anticipation is my heart oh, really happy. beating right now. Thank you for staying with me the whole time I worked on this piece. It this is thing? extremely important to me. I now have sure, far more same. confidence in myself as I embark on the next step of my journey. I do, do I tell her? Do I have the heart to tell her from level 1 to level 80? Mm. That, that doll looks the same. Let's check one of these in. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, I, I don't want to take her to 90. That would be a mistake. 81. She has crit rate as her ascension stat, which is sick. I guess you could play her as DPS. I mean, if you're getting free crit rate, like, why not, right? Next, we've got the weapon. Before I even do anything else, what do you use to level up? Do I have that on hand? Otherwise, I have to farm it and it's a Wednesday. <laughs> Do I have enough? Do I have enough? Do I have enough? Oh, that might be enough. 30, 50, 30. I know I don't have that many of the golden ones, but that's maybe doable. That means we still have artifacts, weapon, and talents to do. We then have to do Goro as well. What team am I going to run? Probably not this. What did we say? We said it would be Ningguang. Okay. Who should be the last member? Either Zhongli or Bennett. Bennett gives a bigger buff, but... 
Zhong Li means I don't die. And honestly, that sounds pretty good. So let's have a look. First, actually, maybe we level up Goro first. Okay. I think Goro is very easy to level up. So let's do him. Weapon, I think you want to give him ER. Artifact wise, I think you want to run Noblesse to give everyone a buff. You could run defense on him, but I think that just boosts his own personal damage. So probably a Noblesse. In Constellations, I'm C1 right now. Oh God, his talents are all level one. All right, let's do everything together, right? Let's do your weapon next. Oh, I have to hunt ruin guards. I haven't been farming mobs. There's been no need. Can I make some? Ew. Oh, it's not looking good. Sucrose, you're gonna you're gonna do that crazy thing where you just make eight, aren't you? Okay. Um Ah, oh, it means I have to go fight them. I mean, if we're gonna go farm them anyway, I might as well make them usable. So let's have a look. You know, Ningguang, here's just have a weapon first, you know? What is your ratio right now? Crit rate weapon, you're 50-50. Switch this, I guess. Movement speed. Okay, Ningguang, just just have something usable first. Probably Petra. Oh, I have really bad Petra pieces. What if I just take Navias? Oh, but it has EM. It's so gross. Why does my Navia have so much EM? Yo, these pieces suck. Okay, we're going to have to fix her too. Yeah, my Ningguang's going to need some work later. <laughs> Probably crit damage. It's just something usable for now, you know? Just something. Sure. What does that leave you at? 1.8k attack. Uh, That looks okay for now. Enough for us to go kill some uh, Rune Graders. Wow, look at that move. Yo, actually, we're so fast. Look at this move. <laughs> All right, I'm playing Mono Geo. It's happening. I'm sorry. And you know what? Let's activate all the Goro constellations now. And when another unit is in the E, decrease Goro's cooldown? Okay, sure. Increase the duration of it. Talent level. Impregnable. Interesting. Okay. And then this is the crazy one, right? Increases crit damage of all nearby party members' geo damage. That's just free damage. All right, there we go. That is now maxed out. Oh, that's a lie. Now it's maxed out. That's a lot of defense. And I guess we'll refine it. All right, here we go. You've got your weapon. You've got your weapon. It's just artifacts, right? Artifacts for the whole gang. No, I lied. Talents, talents, talents. Let's do talents and then we'll come back. So I think for you, it should just be your E, right? Geo damage bonus. I think that's the most important thing for Goro. Wait, it doesn't increase the geo damage bonus. It only increases the defense increase for the team. Oh. <laughs> the number of geo people in the party okay if we have three that's fine we got three we even got four that means i just get free geo damage right okay that's one thing let's go to you i think only the e matters for me i don't think i'm ever using your burst actually that's a lie i have good downtime actually okay we need to make some of these all right let's level up uh your burst i'll even do goro's burst let's just do everyone's burst <laughs> Now we need exclusively spectral nucleus and purple philosophy of light. Okay. Okay. Let's take it one at a time, yeah? So you're a seven and seven. Let's make you seven. And now you're seven, eight and seven. You are now eight and seven. Oh, and you're done. You can't level up anymore. So maybe I just do this to nine? Nine. Okay. One, nine, seven. And we've got one, eleven, ten. Now for your artifacts. Okay, Goro should be the easiest. You are just no bless spot with defense, right? Let me do a little quick searching. I've never leveled up a Goro before. I've never played Geocomps, really. He wants defense and damage. So, like, I just filter on... Wait, they say husk? When on field, the character gains one stack for hitting. When off field, the character gains one stack every three seconds, which gives them... Def oh. But I want no bless for the homies. All right, it looks like we're just going to invest in his personal damage then. Screw it. Fine. Sure, Noel, hand it over. <laughs> Defense. Cr oh, God, my Goro is going to be cracked. Defense sands with ER. ER double crit. What is this? This artifact is insane. Okay, of course, it rolls crit as well. Oh, my God. This artifact is insane. This artifact is insane. Oh, my God. It's nonstop rolling crit. Oh, okay. You know what? Defense percent is good too. Okay, that solves all your ER problems. Done. Do I go geo damage on you? I guess so i don't know who else is gonna take that do you even need crit rate what is your ratio you don't need crit rate just give you crit damage i have a damage goro this is kind of weird <laughs> i mean why not okay suddenly my goro is like insane <laughs> what now it feels like i should level up his burst though to be fair a lot of these husk pieces are going to be yoinked off him when i get Eater. but he's done there's still chiori and ningguang chiori i think she wants to use this set here man that's actually kind of crazy no take that right how much does her bo uh, burst cost i guess i'll be using it every now and then 50 that's so low cost what about yours 80 oh okay that's kind of expensive 
defensive. Here, we want to keep using golden troop. Crit and defense. Okay. Go crit. Okay. You know what? Defense is fine. But crit would be great. Okay. Crit is awesome here. Okay. More crit. Crit. Oh, these are low rolls, but what is that? 30 something crit value and two defense rolls. That's insane. Here, we probably want defense, right? It doesn't seem like she needs ER. Oh, but a defense percent sands. Would I have kept it or would I have junked it? That has one crit roll. That has one crit roll. Okay. We literally have one option. Technically, you want geo, right? I think geo damage is better. But if I'm starting off with better substat rolls, then these are my geo damage ones. Okay, if you roll crit, then we go with you. If you don't roll crit... Oh, this is so hard. Your subs are so good to start with. Okay, you've betrayed me. You've betrayed me and the family and we're going with this one. Go crazy? Okay, you know what? Actually, uh, I changed my mind. You have not betrayed the family. Come back. Oh, you have so betrayed the family. I'm going back to this one. <laughs> Honestly, geo damage is probably better, right? Like my weapon is already giving me so much defense. Maybe I just want the most defense possible. This is so conflicting. Defense, defense, crit? No, I'm, I gotta go geo damage. I have to go geo damage. There's no way. She has like no geo damage right now, right? Yeah, she has nothing. Geo damage is a whole new multiplier. I gotta go geo damage here. Yeah. It's only this one. It's okay. It's not the best. It's okay. Huh? Oh god, it's awful actually. But this means I can switch out for like a geo damage offset, right? Surely I have something better. Oh my god, that's a great piece actually. So that means you're done, right? 1.7k defense. You have good crit ratio. You have a little bit of ER, but you don't really need it. Why do you have shield strength? What the hell? How did you how did I get that? And some geo damage. Okay, that means my supports are good. Now it's just Ningguang. Oh, Okay, Ningguang, I want to give you Glad, I think. I mean, this set is great and all, but how am I going to crystallize? I can't. Maybe Glad, Petra. Let's have a look at these two. That's kind of dookie. That is also kind of dookie. <laughs> you know what? Thanks, Ayaka. That one seems like the best. That has six. That has five damage rolls. That has six damage rolls. And remember, I still need to get two Petra pieces somehow. I don't really have good Petra pieces, especially for the sands. Oh God, they're so bad. Does that mean I have to take one of these? That's awful too. These are all awful. Actually, that's not too bad. Okay, you know what? Let's level this up. I want to see where this Petra piece goes. It might be awful. Like, it might just completely be the worst thing ever. I'm going to use it. It's kind of crazy, but I'm going to use it because that means we've got two pieces here. This, I can use anything for geo damage, I guess. So what does that leave us at? We're missing one piece, but we're at 1.7k attack. We need a little bit more crit rate and maybe a little bit of ER. Crit rate and a little bit of ER. We can do that. Oh my God, this piece is insane. What the hell? Six damage rolls, three ER. What the hell is this? That was just lying around. Wait, one, two, three, four. Wait, that's seven damage rolls, two ER. Six damage rolls, three ER. Yeah. What's your burst cost? 40. Maybe I switch. Maybe we switch sands real quick. It's like um, you share your outfit with your friends. Like I borrow this piece, you borrow that piece. Yeah, that's a thing people do. Let's have a final stat check. Ningguang, 1.7 thousand attack. You have 70 to 222 ratio. Pretty good. We have 120 ER, but we have mono geo, so that should be all good. We have 118% geo damage bonus because of the weapon. Zongli, I think you're on Favonius duty with Melilith to give a little bit of attack. That's fine. Koro is husk. Damage build, actually. Good amount of ER. And Chiori, the main person here, the new character, is uh, on troop duty with pretty good stats as well. 1.7k defense, 60 to 160 ratio, about 120 ER as well. And you have geo damage bonus. And I didn't lose my soul while farming. Oh my god. That's the most important part. <laughs> Should we go test ourselves out real quick? Hello. I know you have geo resistance, but honestly, I kind of don't care. I think we're just going to smack you around. Like if I do one of these, E, Q, E. Wait, where's my, where's my E? Okay, you know what? I've changed my mind suddenly. Maybe the, the geo resistance is kind of strong. Maybe the... <laughs> okay, we, I mean, we still smoked him. I'm not going to lie. I think the geo resist kind of made that hard. Okay, what's a more fair test? Should we try the abyss? Wait, I haven't done my dailies. Wait, is that enough to get Ito? Please, man. Okay, watch this, watch this. This is crazy. This is real gameplay. This is real gambling addiction. Where is my Ito? There is no way. Oh, 
Maybe I just try the abyss. I think the Ningguang team can work. And what better way to practice? The only thing is, what bosses am I versing? Oh, it's one where we have to do reactions, right? How am I going to shoot the Wee Nut out of the sky? This one I can do. The Wee Nut. There's only one way to do it, and it's the try. It's okay. I can do it. Ningguang, Zhongli, Goro, Chiori. Let's do this. I think we can do this. Zhongli, Goro, E. Okay, this is going to be annoying when the thing starts moving everywhere, but what is happening? happening to me. I just want to move my body. Is that too much to ask for? Goro, Shuri, E, E. Where are you? What, where did my thing go? Okay, bosses breaking all my stuff is not cool. I do not like that. Do I, am I meant to do a reaction here? Or can I just hit him? Uh oh. You know, I can't hit that, right? I'm, I don't have anything. Well, that's great. Where, where does it keep going? Oh my god. Uh, I guess I shield up. Does this break my Goro stuff? Did that just break my stuff? He's so rude. And I missed. Wait, the Goro thing follows me? Okay, I'm learning a lot right now. Why is this so close? Hello? Okay, you know what? Here's just a crap ton of geoparticles. Please die. Hello? What? Dude, why are you not dead? You're, you're, you're negative HP. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, we Nut is going to suck. I can already tell. We're just going to do our best. Okay, that's a not a bad spawn, though. Wait, it, it stole my it stole my thing. It stole my uh big statue thing. What the? Wait, oh, no, I mashed the thing too hard again. All right, this is a problem. A little bit of a problem. How much does that do? 38,000? That's not bad. It's not amazing either. All right, how am I going to do this? I can shoot the Animo thing, but I can't do a reaction. Oh, no. Okay, you know, uh, it could be worse. It could be worse. It honestly could not be worse. What am I saying? It's so bad. Okay, maybe if I was a better Ningguang player with my placement, we would not be in this predicament, but please, we got 11 seconds. Oh, I'm coping so hard. There's no way. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if it wasn't the Wee Nut, look, if it wasn't this silly guy, we would be doing fine right now. All right, look, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> if it wasn't something where I had to play a reaction team, maybe it would be better. Here we go. We shield up. Oh, it ate my thing again. <laughs> oh, no. All right, that's fine. We have Goro. I can shoot you out of the sky, I think. I, I need some particles, please. I, what? How is that eating my, my, my thing? My wall's getting consumed every single time. Okay, that's not fair. I'm so far away from you. How are you consuming the thing? I'm losing so much damage because of that. Oh, my God. Okay, whatever, man. <laughs> Maybe I'm just bad. Maybe I'm just bad. You know, like, that's that's fine. That's normal. Geo resistance increased. Okay, that might be a minor problem. That might be a minor problem. Please. One, two, E. Okay, stand back a little bit. I don't understand. How do I make it work? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just bad. Whatever. We still did it. We still did it. Oh, outside of the wiener, I think we did pretty good. I guess that's Chiori. Just another Geo sub DPS buffing unit. It's just Albedo but like more sass, I guess. I don't know. More attitude. She uh, literally even uses his weapon. If you have this, this is his signature. I guess this artifact set's slightly better on her. She's literally just Albedo, but new and does more damage. And personally, I like the movement speed a lot more than whatever Albedo's elevator thing is. I think she's good. If you are uh, not playing any Geo teams, don't pull her. She hates that I'm saying that, but in all honesty, I don't think it's worth it if you're, um, if you're not playing Geo. She's only here to support and buff Geo units, but if you are playing uh, Geo DPS, she's really, really good. Honestly, for someone like me who's finally starting to get into Geo units for the first time after forever, Chiori's a godsend. I'm hella excited to finally get Ito one day. <laughs> this is for personal ego. I am convinced I can fight the Bishop better. Walk through this. E, Q, Bennett, this, E, E, now Ningguang. 3,000 attack. Okay. And then I should swap, right? Then I should quick swap into the rest of the team. Okay. And then I switch to Bennett again to get some energy. Okay. And then E, Bennett, and then you E twice, and then I E, and then I burst. Maybe that's better, as long as I can actually dodge. <laughs> Thank you, bullies, for making it to the end of the video. If you want to catch more of me, I've got a second YouTube channel with a lot more content coming there. And I'm about to start a donathon on Twitch to celebrate 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I'll be live there every single day starting from the 19th of March, and maybe I'll catch you there. Once again, thanks for watching, love you, bullies, and I'll see you in the next video.